G'day guys, Dave Lee coming at you once again with another Blu-ray update video. Uh, again, it's been ages since I've done one of these. I've been trying to make this like a monthly thing, but it's just, it's kind of not working out that way. I, I haven't been buying hugely recently. There's been a couple of big sales that I have taken advantage of over the last couple of months, and it's kind of given me a, a decent chance to do an update video, but it's kind of not working out uh, to be able to do one every month. So this is kind of becoming maybe like every two or three month kind of thing. And that's exactly what this is. Uh, this is my Blu-ray update for April, May and June 2018. Over that time we've had, we've had a couple of sales from JB Hi-Fi. Uh, you've probably seen a decent, uh, maybe a little bit over 50, 60% worth of this stuff. But there is a little bit of stuff in here that you actually haven't seen just yet that I've been holding off to show off on this video. I like to give you uh, something new as well on these videos that, that you haven't seen before. So again, uh, a lot of the stuff that I bought in here was from JB Hi-Fi's buy one, get one free sale. You've seen all that stuff in the buy one, get one free vlog uh, that I did. If you haven't seen that, you'd like to see it, Check the link up in the corner there. Otherwise, I'll put a hyperlink at the end of the video. And there's a bunch of other stuff that I've received um, uh, just in my parcel locker, which you likely would have seen if you've been watching my unboxing videos as well. About two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, JB Hi-Fi had another big sale. They had a 20% off sale, and then they also offered an extra 5% for those on their mailing list. So basically, it turned out to be like a 25% off sale. Uh, the good thing was, at that time, they were also running a two for $20 promotion and also a three for $40 promotion, which cover Blu-rays and 4Ks. I think we picked up any 4K, but we picked up a bunch of Blu-rays, both myself and old mate Rick. Um, I didn't feel like really vlogging that sale. I, I, I had I'd done one only a couple of weeks previously to that for the buy one, get one free, and didn't feel like there was much more I could vlog other than me just running around a store, really. So I, I decided against doing a vlog for that, uh, but I will show off everything that we did purchase in that sale in this video. As I usually do, I split uh, my, my Blu-rays between new releases, catalogue titles, old classic movies, and then 4K releases. But this time around, we're going to have all that, but, uh, but first up, I'm actually going to go through the stuff that I got in the 25% off, plus 2 for 20, plus 3 for $40 sale, just so you guys can see the new stuff that we got. So let's start off with that. Let's take a look at this stuff that I picked up in this sale. I didn't go too crazy. I got uh, about uh, two handfuls of stuff, plus an additional title there. Let's have a look at the two for 20s that I picked up. I picked up uh, Sylvester Stallone in Daylight. I believe I watched this a long time ago. This is the one where there was like, there's like a, a fire or a flood or something in the uh, in the underground tunnel. Uh, surprisingly, I didn't have it on Blu-ray or even DVD. So I'm not too sure how, how I'd watch it. It must have been one I saw years ago from a, a rental from a video store or something all that time ago. Uh, but I, I really love that. So I picked that up as part of two for 20. So these came down to like $7 something with the with the with the twenty five percent off uh, to match with that, I picked up nine. Um, I don't really know too much about this one, but uh, it's from the director of Chicago. I enjoyed Chicago, of course. That's Rob Marshall. Uh, this has got a, a great cast in it, which is really what grabbed me. It doesn't have great reviews. Uh, I'm not huge on these kind of musicals, but it has a has a great cast. Daniel Day Lewis, Marion Cotillard, Penelope Cruz, uh, Judy Dench, Fergie, uh, uh, Kate Hudson, Nicole Kidman, and Sophia Loren. It's got a really really great cast there. It looks all right. If it's in the kind of the same style as Chicago, then I think I will enjoy that. So they were, they were my two for 20s as part of that deal. I also picked up a number of three for 40s. So these came down to like 30 bucks, so like $10 a title. Firstly, from that bundle, I picked up Serpico. This is a really fantastic movie. Uh, one of Al Pacino's earliest movies. Uh, I love this movie so much. It's really, if you haven't seen this, you have to check this out. This is one I was actually also surprised to find out I didn't have on Blu-ray. I could have sworn I did, but this was this came out not that long ago. 2017, so last year this one was released. Um, I do have it on DVD though, uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing that one on Blu-ray. I'm not sure how great it's going to look, but uh, I can't wait to watch that movie again. It looks really great. I should say that these three are actually shock releases. As you know, I love shock. I've been putting out a, a lot of really great catalog titles recently. So that was the first of the three for 40s I picked up. I also picked up Terminator 2 Judgment Day in 3. 3D. I recently picked up the 4K edition of this. I've been holding it out for the uh, the 3D one until I could get it at a good price. Down to 10 bucks. I think it was a decent price for that. Uh, I also picked up Terminator Genesis. Apparently it's crap. 
but um, I've got all the other Terminator movies and I just, I have to have it. I have to see it just to see how bad it is. Um, I actually thought I'd picked up the 3D edition of this. I got home and found out that it was not the 3D edition. It's just the standard 2D, uh, but that's that's completely fine. Uh, it includes a special bonus features disc that the 3D one doesn't come with anyway. So I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. And look, if I can get the 3D one for like, 10 bucks or 8 bucks or something down the line. I'll pick that one up as well to put with that. I also have one final one that I picked up. This wasn't part of a bundle deal. This is just a new release from Shock. And I was actually going to get this um, at the buy one, get one free. But uh, they didn't have it on shelves. It had just come out that week. They had all the other Shock titles from that week, but they didn't have this one. So uh, luckily this was in stock during the 25% off. And I thought, I'll, I'll just get it. So it was this one right here. Money Train, Wesley Snipes, Woody Harrelson. Haven't seen it, but I, I really love these great, like, 90s action comedy kind of movies. Wesley Snipes, Woody Harrelson, can't really go wrong with that. So that was my little uh, my little bundle, my little haul there. Uh, old mate Rick picked up quite a bit more than I did, so we'll take a look at what he got. Part of the 3 for 40 deal, he picked up Bad Mums 2. I actually really enjoyed the first one, so I'm looking forward to seeing this one. I'll hold off until Christmas because it's a Christmas movie. Uh, it's actually called Bad Mums Christmas over in the USA, but it's just called Bad Mums 2 here in the UK. It's the same reason why Four Christmases is called Four Holidays in Australia and the UK. Usually these are released like mid to late December. They figure uh, an international audience won't go see a Christmas movie after Christmas, whereas an American audience will. I don't know, I'd prefer the name Bad Mums Christmas or, uh, or uh, uh, Four Christmases, but it, it kind of is what it is. Uh, next up is Boss Baby 3D. Don't know what to think about this. It looks a bit, bit weird, bit silly, but it's, it had great reviews. Alec Baldwin as a baby can't really go too wrong uh, it looks it looks pretty funny this is in 3d so uh look again for like 10 bucks worth a pickup uh he also picked up this one called brimstone never heard of it um but it's got guy pierce and Deco dakota fanning in there looks really great like a like a really gritty like very violent looking western and i love that i love westerns i love these like new sort of neo westerny kind of things which are always like really violent and just a bit of fun, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, old mate Rick also picked up Daddy's Home 2. This is also a Christmas movie, so that'll probably be put off until uh, around Christmas time, I guess. Surprised that one didn't get released as Daddy's uh, Daddy's Christmas or something like that. But no, there's Daddy's Home 2. Uh, also picked up Downsizing, one that has had pretty bad reviews again, but it looks all right. Matt Damon, Christoph Waltz, uh, and Kristen Wiig. Uh, can't be too bad, surely. I mean, it's just one of those movies you're watching shut your brain off in, hopefully. I, I like all of them, so it should be all right. This was directed by Alexander Payne too, so I enjoy his movies, so. And the last one from that bunch of three for 40, he got was The Florida Project, which has got Willem Dafoe in it. Uh, apparently it looks really good, like an independent movie. Something like a, like they're a poor family, something they live in Florida near Disney World or something like that. Not too, they live in a motel near Disney World. So it kind of sounds a little bit interesting. So I'm looking forward to checking that one out as well. Uh, another batch of three for forties here as well. Another Christmas movie, go figure. The Man Who Invented Christmas. It's like a little biopic about Charles Dickens. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's kind of like interweaving with the Christmas Carol story. It's like maybe about how he wrote A Christmas Carol or something. So it's like part biopic, part Christmas Carol remake thing. I don't know, it kind of sounds interesting. I love A Christmas Carol my favorite Christmas story of all time. So I'm looking forward to watching that one. Again, one to leave off until Christmas, I think. He picked up this one called Only the Brave. Don't know too much about this one, but it looks uh, like quite good. True story of the Granite Mountain Hotshots, team of local firefighters. So it looks all right. It's got Josh Brolin, Miles Teller, Jeff Bridges, uh, Taylor Kitsch and Jennifer Connelly. So it looks pretty good as well. Uh, and picked up Wonder Woman in 3D. Finally picked up Wonder Woman. Been putting off buying this. I wanted to get the 4K at some point, but the 3D for $10. Just picked that one up. Not not huge DCEU, not a DCEU fan at all. But I really enjoyed Wonder Woman. Uh, did We did want to pick up at least one copy of it. For 10 bucks, the 3D, like, fair enough. Two more here for old mate Rick. These are two for 20s. He picked up Goon, Last of the Enforcers, the sequel to Goon. Surprisingly, actually a really, really good movie. So I'm looking forward to seeing the sequel. Hopefully it's all right. It's another one that was just dumb, shut your brain off comedies. That's actually quite enjoyable. So looking forward to seeing the second one. And also, here the man who knew infinity this has got dev patel and jeremy irons uh so it looks like a interesting british movie another one based on a true story mathematical genius something about being in cambridge uh love cambridge 
my second home. This is great. So um, looking forward to that. So again, that was uh, old mate Rick's bundle there from the 25% off plus three for 40 and three for 20 it was my bundle right there. Um, I'm guessing our mate Pete is probably going to give old mate Rick another win for that one there but I'll uh, I'll win I'll win sometime all right so let's get into the stuff that you probably have seen if you've been following my channel recently we're gonna like skim through all this because I have talked about this in in previous videos uh, a few of them we have watched uh, so far so I might stop and talk about one or two here and there if we've watched them and um and you go from there. So first off, let's go with like new releases. Father Figures, Ed Helm, Owen Wilson. Check this out a couple of weeks ago. Surprisingly quite good. I thought this was funny. I thought it was a decent story and enjoyable. A Friday night where again, you just want to shut your, your brain off and not think about it too much. I really enjoyed this, surprisingly. Uh, it looked terrible, but it was it's really, really good. Call Me By Your Name. Drift, Aussie surf movie with Sam Worthington. Looks interesting. Goodbye, Christopher Robin. Haven't watched it yet. I've been just dying to watch it. We'll get to it very soon. Hitman's Bodyguard. Really enjoyed this. Watched this a couple of weekends ago as well. Just a lot of fun. Samuel L. Jackson, Ryan Reynolds. It's kind of what you'd expect. Just silly, silly fun, but again, enjoyable. A fun action, adventure, comedy movie. I, I always love them. The House, Will Ferrell, Amy Poehler. This is it's, it's worse than I expected. I expected crap and I got I got worse. It's okay for a bit, there's a few laughs in there, but it's just, just, what happens to these guys? These guys just, they do so many great movies and then the like the later end of their career, they just, they just go off the rails. I don't know, is it that their comedy becomes outdated? They still keep trying to plug the same comedy, you know, a decade after it's gone out of style? I don't know. They all, it happens to all of them. Will Ferrell, Adam Sandler, even Steve Martin, whose movies I, I just adore. His movies just got so silly and I think it's like the humour doesn't catch up with the times and it's just... I, I, I don't know. But I can still go back and watch his older movies and think they're funny and then watch something like this and... I don't know what it is. It's one of those weird things. What are your thoughts on that? Let me know down below because it's just one of those weird things that happens. The old movies, they stay funny, but the new ones, just not. I, 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 I don't get it. I, Tonya, I really love this. Watch this for a second time. Lived up. Again, I just, I just love this. It's a fantastic movie. Kingsman, uh, The Golden Circle. Don't think we showed this one off, actually. This is one we picked up in the buy one, get one free, but um, it was like a second... I, I took a second trip to JB Hi-Fi after I'd done the vlog and picked this one up because it was a couple of other little things I wanted to get. So we did pick this one up. Looking forward to seeing that one. Molly's Game. This is one that Entertainment One, of course, sent me. I reviewed this in cinemas and I reviewed the Blu-ray. I love this movie. It's fantastic. Check it out if you can. Mother still haven't worked up the uh, courage the the desire to sit and watch this one um, I'm either gonna love it or I'm gonna hate it so interested the post another one that uh, entertainment one sent me I've done a couple of reviews for this too uh, really good movie not as great as I thought it would be for a uh, Hanks and Spielberg venture but uh, still enjoyable stronger Suburbicon three billboards outside Ebbing Missouri watch this one Absolutely loved it. Just as good as everyone's saying. I thought this is going to be one of those movies that's so overrated. Great movie. Loved it. Highly recommend it. Victoria and Abdul. Haven't watched that one yet. And Wonder. This is a really great movie. I saw this at the cinemas. I reviewed it for Warner Brothers Village Roadshow. Uh, just a really sweet, great movie. Really enjoyed this one. All right, so that is it for the like new releases, I guess. Uh, we'll go on to catalog titles now. So these are sort of older titles that I wouldn't quite consider classic movies yet, but they're, they're a little bit older. Air America, Robert Downey Jr. and Mel Gibson. Looking forward to seeing this. I've heard like mixed things about it, but I think I'll enjoy it. Another like comedy action from like the 1990s. Um, it looks pretty good. Uh, this is another one I haven't shown off on the channel. I believe this one is the other one that I paired up with uh, Kingsman Golden Circle um, when I went back for the buy one get one free. So there's Air America. Bird on a Wire, that is another Mel Gibson one with Goldie Horn. Uh, really looking forward to checking this one out too. Blue Streak. Death Becomes Her. Joe versus the Volcano. This is a Warner Archive title, one that I imported from the USA. As you may have heard, uh, they're going to stop shipping uh, movies to Australia, Amazon US and Amazon UK, because there's new tax laws that the Australian government's uh, bringing in and Amazon doesn't want to comply with it. There's a whole big thing. So I've been trying to import a number of titles now to make sure I can still get my hands on them. I think a few of the smaller retails 
are gonna stay around, but just in case I have been picking up some stuff here and there recently, and this is one of them. You'll see a bunch of other Warner Archive titles in a minute. Karate Kid, this is one that uh, one of my subscribers, Popcorn Chat, sent in. Thanks once again. Looking forward to checking this out real soon. Y yeah, I've, I've never watched Karate Kid. What of it? Midnight Run, still can't wait to watch this. There's so many, so many here that I haven't watched. I just, I need to get to, but this looks really great. De Niro and uh, Charles Grodin. Not another teen movie and Spanglish. Okay, that is it for the catalog titles, for the, the older stuff. Now we're gonna take a look at some classic cinema that I've piled up here. We've got The Cruel Sea, a British war movie. Pick this up in the buy one, get one free. The Hanging Tree, a Warner Archive title. Harper, and alongside that, we got The Drowning Pool. Uh, this is the sequel to this one. Paul Newman, one of my favorite classic actors. And two movies of his that I haven't seen. This one has um, Lauren Bacall in it. It's one of my favorite actresses, of course, was married to Humphrey Bogart, my favorite actor of all time. The both of them did some great movies together. I haven't seen a lot of her stuff outside of the Bogey movies. So so, uh, looking forward to seeing Harper and The Drowning Pool. Warner Archive titles are all region free. So, uh, they're really, really great to import. There's so many great classic titles part of that range. Ice Cold in Alex, another one from the buy one, get one free. This is another classic British war movie. And they were expendable. This is a John Wayne, uh, Robert Montgomery movie, uh, directed by John Ford. Great classic film director, did a lot of war and Western movies. Did quite a number with John Wayne. I can't remember the number. It was like 11, maybe more, uh, like 13, something like that. This is one I didn't have and haven't seen. I think I'm missing like three or four more of them, but this is gonna be great if it's if any of the other ones are anything to go by. So looking forward to that. I have a feeling I have a few more archive titles. Ugh. I don't know why I kept these separately from my uh, from my normal pack, but uh, there's actually there's actually a couple more classic titles here from the archive and from Arrow that for some reason I put up there and I just forgot about them until right now. So let's take a look at these. Blood Alley, John Wayne and Lauren Bacall. Again, there's Lauren Bacall in another movie. Uh, interested to check out this one too. The Sea Chase, another John Wayne one. I'm actually, I got a handful of John Wayne ones this time around. She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, yet another John Wayne one. This is uh, another one directed by John Ford. So again, John Wayne, John Ford movies are just, are just great. And The Wrong Man, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. This is one of his very few, like, classic ones that I haven't seen yet, so can't wait to get into that one. And I picked up three here from Arrow. Uh, Arrow Distribution, again, Arrow is another one of those uh, boutique labels over in the UK that uh, pump out a lot of great movies that otherwise wouldn't get releases if like the independents didn't take over and, and give them releases. Now these th these ones always come with reversible artwork and in most cases I actually uh, prefer the artwork that comes on the reverse. So these three are actually the reverse artwork. Uh, I picked up the Glass Key. If you'd watched my last update video, I picked up one called The Blue Dahlia. It's an, the, both of them star Veronica Lake and Alan Ladd. Um, they're both like great classic uh, film noirs. Haven't seen them, uh, but I'm looking forward to checking that out. Glass Key, I missed this one in the last Arrow sale. Uh, these three were bought in in a sale. It was like 60, 70% off sale. Oh, that's something crazy, crazy sale. Uh, Woman on the Run as well and too Late for Tears. So I picked up three of their great, like classic film noir movies. I love film noirs, as you know, and uh, these three look really great. Uh, and that just about does it for all the classic titles. We will get onto the 4Ks. We've got quite a number of 4Ks this month, actually. Last month, we only had a very, very small number of them. Now we've got a decent pile here. Most of these are catalog titles. There's a couple of newer releases that we picked up at JB Hi-Fi and the buy one, get one free. But a lot of these are, are catalog titles that just come out in the US that I had to pick up. Some of them are coming out in Australia over the next couple of months, but I was impatient. Wanted to buy them from the States and, and get my slip covers with them. And they were, they were really cheap anyway, like $25, I think, each, which is probably about the same price point, maybe a little bit more expensive, maybe a little cheaper than when they will be when they come out here. So I couldn't be bothered waiting. I wanted to see them in 4K. Picked up Braveheart. Haven't watched it just yet in 4K, but really looking forward to checking that one out. Apparently the uh, transfer on that is beautiful. Die Hard, one of my favorite action movies ever. Not too sure how this is gonna go in 4K, but, um, it's one of my favorite movies. I just had to had to upgrade that one. I'm not gonna upgrade the entire 
collection to 4K. We have no intention of doing that. Uh, it's just that there's some movies that you, that's like a no-brainer that you do go, you know, when it, when it gets re-released, when it gets remastered on a, a bigger and better format, you've got to do the upgrade. And there's a, you'll see here, a lot of these just great, classic, big, epic movies just need to be upgraded. Gladiator is another one we picked up. I did watch this one. Looks fantastic. In some parts, it's, it's not a greater upgrade than the Blu-ray, but some parts are really fantastic. Uh, really beautiful colors on this one in particular. So I'm really glad I picked that one up. Looks really, really great. Picked up the Jurassic Park 25th anniversary collection. It's got the original trilogy as well as Jurassic World. And it's really neat kind of digi book there, packaging kind of thing. Uh, I watched all of those in 4K. They all look quite great. The first one uh, wasn't the best. I have a feeling the first one was an upscale. They might all be upscales, but um, the first one wasn't that great. I don't think they did a, a great new remaster on it. There's really nice colors on it though. The colors are really rich, really deep. So I would, I would recommend maybe picking that up. This is available in Australia, but uh, it's about the same price and only has the first three movies. Doesn't come in the digi book, I don't think. I think it's just the just the cases in, in a slip case. Also picked up the Patriot. Apparently the transfer on this is gorgeous. Apparently out of all these uh, catalog ones that I've shown, this is the best one, which really surprises me. And this is the first time I believe the theatrical edition has been made available on Blu-ray. So that's a that's a that's an extra little uh, a, an extra little bang for your buck if you pick up the 4K. This is only $14 US, so like 20 something dollars Australian. That was a no-brainer to pick that up. Also picked up Saving Private Ryan in 4K. This is my favorite war movie of all time next to Apocalypse Now. So happy to have this on the format. Haven't watched it just yet, but apparently it looks really, really great. Okay, I caved in and went back to JB during the buy one, get one free to pick up Blade Run on 4k I've been waiting to pick this up from the States uh, or the UK because I wanted a slip cover for this because I have the, the box set of the of the original Blade Runner on 4k I want them to kind of match but this came down to like 20 bucks in the buy one get one free and I just thought you know what I'm just gonna buy it now uh, so, so I so I got this and I paired this up with another 4k which you'll see just in a moment but still haven't watched it I'm looking forward to checking this out if anyone has a slipcover for the 4K edition that they don't want, they like to send it on to me, please do. I'd be really appreciated. Please just let me know down in the comments below. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Otherwise, I'm just kind of happy with, with that as it is. But I would love the slip if anyone's you know, you know, just willing, to, just willing to chop someone out. Greater Showman, that's one we picked up from JB. Buy one, get one free. Still looking forward to watching that. We got Logan, this is the other one that we paired up with Blade Runner. If you'd watched my original buy one get one free video, you would have seen that I was like debating whether to get that one and Blade Runner. I caved in the end. Um, I initially picked this up from one store, got home I realized it was only the one disc edition, only had the 4K disc, not the Blu-ray, uh, which meant I completely missed out. On, uh, on all the special features. Luckily, another JB Hi-Fi locally had the two disc edition with the Blu-ray in it, so it was just able to swap them over. And finally, this is the not only the last 4K in this video, but it's the last title in this video, The Shape of Water, again, Another one I picked up from JB Hi-Fi as part of the buy one, get one free. I'm really, really, really looking forward to seeing this. So look, uh, that was a quite a decent number of titles here. Uh, again, these things are gonna like shape out to be maybe every two or three months. So um, I'm not too sure when the next Blu-ray update video is going to be, unfortunately. Uh, I will, however, have a Disney Blu- I'm hoping I will have another Disney Blu-ray update video within the next couple of weeks. Vince. My mate over in Canada who gets me a bunch of stuff from the Disney Movie Club, as well as just general Disney titles considering Amazon.com uh, has become so unreliable. The US Amazon became so unreliable with getting Disney stuff. And it, well, going in the future, I won't be able to buy from them anyway. Um, and also Amazon UK has been shipping stuff without the slip covers. So um, looks like even if I could buy from Amazon UK, I would have had to be looking for an alternative for that anyway. Uh, but yeah, look, I, I'll have, I've got a few titles here and I'm waiting on a couple more packs 
from Vincent or maybe one more big pack from Vincent, uh, which I believe should be coming within the next couple of weeks so I can do another uh, big Disney Blu-ray update video and then that'll be kind of that last one of them for a little while as well. But for now guys, that is absolutely everything. I can finally put all these back into, filter them all back into the collection. I, I've spoken about this before, but I have like a pile, I build up a pile in the cinema room so I know which titles I need to put into the next collection update video and I can finally break that pile down and just sort of filter everything uh, as need be. Uh, look guys, until next time, take it easy and uh, thanks for watching. If this is your first time viewing my channel, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like this in the future, then please hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen right now and hit that like button down below. Also, don't forget to check out my many social media accounts and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope I'll see you all again soon. Until next time, take care and I hope you have a wonderful day.